Listen, this is uh, some exciting things happening now. They, from their wildly popular international hit, Ho Hey to their more melodic Ophelia, it's no secret that US folk band, the Lumineers, have millions of fans all over the world. Now, they stopped back in Cape Town as part of their second world tour promoting their 2016 album Cleopatra, and our very only Anne got an opportunity to sit down with frontman Wesley Schultz to find out what they love so much about our beautiful country. I've been trying to do it right I've been living a lonely life Wesley, welcome to Expresso. You had a massively successful debut album and in 2016 you also produced Cleopatra, which was equally successful. Are there any pressures in creating a brand new album after doing such a brilliant job on the first one? I think that it just casts a big shadow that looms large and you have to, you have to work really hard to turn the page. You know, so for us, it was getting back to square one and just writing the way we've always written songs. And that's what we did in Denver for about six months, and then we recorded right after that. Luckily, it's turned out really well, but I think the, the blessing and the curse of having something so successful is that you might only be known for that one thing, so how do you, how do you move on from that? And so I feel really grateful to, to feel like we are moving on and uh, there's some new chapters to write. What do you enjoy most about the process of putting an album together? Jared and I spent better part of seven or eight years just recording in uh, on our own and it's something that we just loved otherwise we would have stopped long ago so probably f for us we're, we're much more interested in writing um, first and then we learn had to learn later how to perform and make it entertaining because we were just obsessed with the craft of writing this next song is the title track to a new album it's called Cleopatra yeah. I think the best part of playing in those types of crowds is that you uh, you feel music connect people, like a group of people connecting over something. That's what we try to do is create like this connection, not only with us and the audience, but with themselves. It doesn't always you know, go that way, but uh, when, when it goes right, it just feels like, wow, that was something we all felt you know, for that night. Has there been any strange things that you've experienced at other live performances that you've done all around the world? We're playing in um, Arkansas one time, and the, the security guy said, you should just go to the audience and say, call on the Hogs. And the Hogs is like their sports team. And I said it, and the next minute, the crowd just erupted into this thing that was out of like Indiana Jones. They were all coordinated and doing this chant. And, and it was 10,000 people just freaking out over something we had no idea. What do you know now that you wish you'd known back then that could possibly have made this entire journey a little bit easier? I felt like I would tell my younger self that you know you just have to take your time and have the faith that it's gonna work out. If you can stay true and just stay the course, that I think that's the best shot at doing anything special. country that stood out for you as possibly one of the best countries you've ever visited? Japan and South Africa are my favorite places to, to be a tourist, to just see things I've never seen before. Um, and South Africa because it's one of those places where we got to see animals on a safari. It has this uh, interesting thing where people are really grateful that you're, you're deciding to come and check it out. Whereas I'm used to New York City, maybe LA, where people are just totally sure that you're there because LA is so great or whatever. It's the curiosity in people and the friendliness is something that drew me in. And I really like wine and the wine here is really good. The biltong, oh, yes. um, that's kind of strange. I had ostrich here, I had an ostrich burger. Not bad. Um, and I had ostrich liver pate so, and that was full of iron. <laughs> so you're basically living your best life right now. <laughs> It's a really special place, and some of our friends are actually meeting us here after this tour ends because we pestered them so much. They must come, so. <laughs> and then finally, what would you like to say to all of your loyal South African fans? Thanks for listening at all. Every time we come back, we're, we're grateful we can because uh, it's a beautiful place to come to. And you're welcome to come back and visit anytime you want. We'll be here again. <laughs> Heaven help a 